Welcome back, replay viewers. Okay, we're down to the frosting the cake part. Um, I'm going to wait just a couple of minutes to let some people come on in the room, but my cupcakes have baked, they are cooling, and I am ready to begin frosting them. Um, just to recap, for those of you that did not catch my scope last night or this morning, I am doing an experiment. Um, I'm making a chocolate cake that is dairy-free. It happens to be egg-free, but my goal here was something dairy-free um, so that it is something that my daughter can eat because she is intolerant of cow's milk. Um, and I should go back and say this this recipe... Um, hi, Zakia. I'm glad you got to catch me. Um, I should go back and, and clarify this recipe is not dairy-free. It is cow's milk dairy-free. And my daughter's intolerance is to the protein in cow's milk, but she can tolerate goat's milk just fine. So this recipe does have some goat's milk in it. But um, for those of you that didn't get to see last night when I was doing the preparation or um, this morning when I finished the preparation, I'm just going to recap what this recipe is. It is a chocolate avocado soaked cake. Um, no, I do not sell my cakes. This is an experiment. I'm just testing this one to see if it is even any good. Um, I, I haven't gotten... I'm not organized enough to be selling any kind of baked goods right now. Um, but what's in this recipe? It is soaked in the um, style of nourishing traditions. If you are um, familiar with that, that style of preparing food, then... Um, then you'll be familiar with this recipe. Um, Zakia, I do not have goats currently. I did. I used to have goats um, up until last summer, but through multiple different reasons and circumstances, things going on, I had to sell my goats. So I currently buy my goat's milk. Um, but that's how I got started in making cheese and soap and anything like that with goat's milk is because I had my goats. Um, but... What's in this recipe? I just made a half batch of, of the original recipe. And for once, I actually wrote down my in my um, measurements so that I could remember them the next time since this is an experiment. I used one full cup of just regular whole wheat all-purpose flour. I used a half cup of whole wheat pastry flour just to kind of lighten that up a little bit so that it wouldn't be so heavy. Whole wheat flour is heavy. And a lot of recipes will call for you to mix whole wheat and regular white flour, but I'm trying to avoid the white flour. So I tried the pastry flour to see how that would turn out. Um, so I mixed those two flours, a teaspoon of baking powder, a cup of goat milk kefir that I made myself, um, three-fourths of a cup of organic coconut palm sugar, and three tablespoons of... It's um, this Ghirardelli sweet ground coconut. It is something, or cocoa, I'm sorry, it's not coconut, it's cocoa. It's something that I have never used before, but I've been wanting to try it, so I used it for this recipe. Um, but I mixed those ingredients together in one mixing bowl and let them rest at room temperature for about 12 hours. In another bowl, I mix a quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and half of an avocado, mix that up and let it rest in the refrigerator for about 12 hours. Um, this morning I mixed both of those two batters together, um, the flour mixture and the avocado mixture. I mixed those two things together along with um, a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of baking soda. And you want to mix the baking soda and the vanilla with each other so that your baking soda is wet and it will incorporate into your wet batter. If you try to put dry baking soda into that wet batter, you end up with a pocket of baking soda and then most of your cake doesn't have any and somebody gets a nice big bite of baking soda, which would just be nasty. Um, so I mixed those together. I put them in a 350 degree oven. Um, I baked them for... 20 minutes until a knife came out clean and this is the result. I got some pretty cupcakes. I've actually already sampled one. The, the flavor of the cake itself is actually pretty good. It's not overpoweringly sweet, but it's sweet enough. Um, 
And then if you were with me last night, you heard me talking about this um, buttercream frosting that I made. But again, my daughter cannot have dairy products made from cow's milk, so traditional buttercream frosting is out of the question. But I found a recipe for some buttercream that your an avocado replaces the butter. So um, in that frosting, and that is not the one you're looking at right there, that would be this one. Um, and I just put it in a jar in the refrigerator. I mixed a half cup of honey, the other half of my avocado, and a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And again, this was just a, a small sample batch just so that I could um, frost these, these test cupcakes that I've made. It turned out okay. You guys can't really see that. It's, it's a little bit runnier than buttercream frosting should be. Um, you have to let that rest for a few hours as well because when you very first mix it up, you can taste the avocado and I'm pretty sure nobody wants to taste avocado on, you can actually taste the avocado in the chocolate cake. Um, but if you let it sit, the cocoa actually overpowers the avocado flavor and you can't taste the avocado anymore. So I went ahead and mixed that up last night so that it, it could do its thing in the refrigerator while the rest of it was making. Um, what I ended up with was more of a glaze and I think that's because I used honey instead of powdered sugar, which is what you would normally use in frosting. Um, but it looks pretty good. I'm not so sure on the taste. I can't decide if I like the taste or not. I'm going to taste it on this cupcake. Um, I can't decide if I like the taste or not, and I actually think that the honey is the reason that I'm not so sure, because I really don't taste the avocado in this. But the honey that I used is a dark wildflower honey, and it is um, it has a little bit of a strong flavor on its own. Let's see if this is good. I think it's okay. I think that if I had made it with the powdered sugar, it would probably have a better flavor as far as frosting goes. I don't think that I like the honey in this recipe. It's just too strong. That the, that dark honey is just too strong. But I'll tell you guys what I did because I was wondering if I would like it or not. This other jar. Let me move this one out of the way. This is the the one that I just used. This is the avocado and honey frosting. It is not bad. I, I, I will use it for something. I'm not sure that I'm going to use it for these cupcakes. I will use it for something. It's not bad. But I'll tell you the other thing that I did, just because I was curious about whether or not that would work. I made this frosting. It kind of looks like pudding. It has the texture and the consistency of pudding. But what I did with this is I used that same recipe for the avocado buttercream and I swapped it out with a banana. I used a whole banana, a half a cup of powdered sugar, and a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And this frosting um, actually turned out very nice. It, um, again, it has the consistency of pudding, but if you like a pudding style frosting, it's really not bad. And bananas and chocolate go very well together. But see, this just has, it stands up a little better on its own. It's still not your traditional buttercream. It's still not that same consistency. But it has a little more texture and body to it. If you guys can see that as I'm frosting this cupcake. I've already tasted the, the um, this banana frosting, I, I was too curious about it, so I went ahead and tasted it. But it turned out very nice. So I'm thinking that when I actually get ready to do this cake for real, not just a te test batch, I think that the cake recipe turned out very well. Um, I explained in my previous video that I reduced the amount of sugar that would normally be called for because my cocoa powder was already sweetened. And I think that, that that was the right move. 
I think that I will do that when I make the full batch. Um, I've already taken cupcakes out of my pan here, but that made, that half batch made thir or I'm sorry, 11 cupcakes. There was only one that I did not fill. Um, so I've got plenty of tests here and I'm going to let some other people taste test um, to see what they think of it, to see if they like it. But I think when I do this for real, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and use the, the, my modified recipe for the cake using the coconut sugar and the um, sweetened coconut, ground coconut. And then for the frosting, I think I, I am going to go with this banana, quote, buttercream frosting. Um, the powdered sugar is not within the nourishing traditions style manner of preparing food um, that I'm looking for, but this cake is for a birthday party, mm -hmm. and sometimes mm -hmm. you just got to make exceptions. You know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So I think we can all tolerate a little bit of powdered sugar in the frosting, and that's the only place that there's going to be any refined sugar in this birthday party deal because I've already um, figured out what to do for the ice cream and it doesn't involve any added sugar either. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I saw the hearts. I want to thank you guys for giving me the lovely hearts here on Periscope. I appreciate you all watching. Share this with your friends. Um, I will be posting this on YouTube later. Um, if you have any questions, I do encourage you to contact me. Um, I'll take some more pictures, and um, I just appreciate you guys watching me and following me here on Periscope. You can find me and follow me on Twitter. It's just at WildflowerVF. You can find me on Facebook if you just search for Wildflower Valley Farm. And you can email me. Um, you can actually find my website. It's just wild, I'm sorry, wildflowervalleyfarm.com. And you can message me through the website there, or you can send me a direct message, um, Nicole at wildflowervalleyfarm.com. Um, thanks again, guys, for watching, and um, I appreciate you you all for your support. And um, hope that you uh, hope that I have given you some useful information. And um, we'll do this again. Thanks, guys. <laughs>